Hi guys, let's plan in my pocket moleskin. Today I want to do a little plan with me in this pocket moleskin. There is a weekly and a daily one in here. And I also want to share with you the supplies I use in this very small scale planner. So let's open it up. So right off the bat, just to mention if it's your first time on my channel, the cover I use here is actually a passport cover from September Leather. It is supposed to house a passport size planner in here, but it is just a tiny bit taller than your regular passport. And because of that, it actually perfectly fits pocket size planner. You can see it's really flush with the cover, which the way I like it. So if you're looking for a cover that fits your pocket planner in this kind of a flash manner, I recommend September leather cover. It is really nice. It has a spine, so it gives real structure to the pocket planners and fits them really well. As you can see, it hugs them just right. And it is very well priced. I believe it's about $23, $25 on Amazon. I'll put links in the description down below if you want to check one out for yourself. The pen I use with this planner is in a gel cleaner and this one is in brown. I love this pen. I have several one of them in different colors and different thicknesses. This one is in 0.5. It does really well on moleskin paper. Uh, there are also in um, 0.4 and 0.7. You can also find one, I believe, all the way down to 0.38 if you want really, really fine uh, writer. But I love this one. It writes really smoothly, really solid color, doesn't feather, doesn't bleed. Um, it's an excellent uh, needle nose uh, pen. So let's look at the planners themselves. So in here I house both daily and weekly pocket moleskins. I love how they fit in this uh, cover and uh, you, you know, if you choose, you can have just the daily, for example, and some other inserts like the wallet or, um, you know, the sticker or business card holder. Um, I decided to use two of these in here because they fit so well. It's such a joy to look at this chunky fit. And uh, what I use them for is my daily one. You can think of it as a little bit of planning, a little bit of memory keeping. I um, write out, you know, the tasks I have for the day, but then also if there are any special events, like here was my nephew's birthday, I denoted it here. Um, I also note the weather and the temperature in here. So it's kind of like a mix both of memory keeping, what was special about that day, and also uh, what tasks I had to do that day. Um, so that's what I do in my daily one. The weekly one, you might think of it as probably a little bit of duplication of the same, but um, I don't have much of memory keeping here. This is your straightforward tasks, um, you know, list in here, uh, very straightforward. As you can see, way less deco than my daily one, just, you know, due to um, sizing of it, obviously, uh, the, the space like uh, this one. Uh, and they Every week, right, it's a little bit different. Like this week, um, I wanted to get a bunch of things. So I made a shopping list in here of things I wanted to buy over here. And then here, I uh, we were packing for the trip. So I wrote down my, uh, you know, pack list for that, for that event. And I put a little bit of stickers here to make it, you know, kind of like happy looking. But most of the time, it's uh, very straightforward, very matter of factly to do kind of a list thing. And so um, I actually got busy yesterday and did not do planning in my daily planner. So I would like to do some plan with me, with you here. And uh, let's do this. So, so far, um, I decided to pre-decorate a little bit the following days. I have these stickers here from Create with Pen. I got them as a part of her uh, sticker pack. And uh, I just went ahead and, uh, you know, put it on every day of the week that I had. As you can see here, there were some other stickers from her kit as well. And so, um, because they come obviously in, in the set of a week, I just pre-decorated uh, the days that I had the stickers for. And then I, what I also do on the spot where there is a day, um, date and the day of the week, I also put a little uh, blue circular washi just to kind of like uh, make it stand out a little bit. And um, I already have done it here and then I'll be doing it here and here as well in a minute. On Friday I was working, but I was working from home. So when I do that, I 
just put this bracket on the hours that I work which is from 8 to 17 which is 5 military time and I just say work day and because when I work I drink coffee and work on a computer as you can see in my previous day I kind of put um, you know these kind of stickers that denote the coffee and working on a laptop and for that I use stickers that in the packet that I got from Create with Pen. So I will pick one out with the coffee and then I will show you the rest of them in a minute when I share all the supplies I use. So I really like this sticker. This is a Teddy Stickers with the coffee and I think I'm gonna choose this one with a little bear and it says coffee over here. I don't overload it too much because it is um, basically a functional planner versus memory keeping planner. You know, it, like I said, it does have some memory planning, but it's not heavy on it. It's more of a functional planner. I tried to put some decoration, but also leave it pretty clean and open because then throughout the day, I might write in some things that weren't there before, you know, as the day progresses. So this gives me room to kind of a, have some decoration, some pre-planning, but also planning and a little bit of memory keeping as the day goes on. So on Friday, as um, always, I try to do a walk in the morning. It's just a quick 10, 15 minute walk. And then a walk in the afternoon. Um, I did do my morning one. Unfortunately, I didn't do my afternoon one. And then uh, at night, as uh, just the day before, I have a dinner with my family. Sometimes I put stickers here to, you know, decorate that. Sometimes I don't. It just depends. Um, also, like, for example, on Thursdays, you can see um, my coworkers did a little bit of a belated birthday celebration for me. And so I put a little birthday cake here and I put my birthday celebration. It also happened to be my brother-in-law's birthday. And so I put his name here and I said for his birthday. And I put a little uh, birthday cake stamp which I'll show you in a little bit and as I mentioned I denoted that it was a really bright sunny day and it was 57 degrees that day so while um, I'm on that let's do that so this week been really nice after all the rains we had and it's been sunny every day so didn't know that I used this little cute uh, stamps from pilot and this one has a sun I pushed it a bit too hard so you cannot see the smile but there is a smile and today is actually quite warm so it is 67 61 degrees uh, we measure in Fahrenheit here in the United States. I do not write in Celsius because I got out of habit of measuring in Celsius, but it's 61 Fahrenheit. And the tasks I had for yesterday was, was to clear out the Christmas tree, which I did. I know, I know, we have it for so long, but it's because we usually keep it till the old new year, which is 13th of January, and then we were out on a trip, so we... You know could just didn't get around to it until yesterday and so i did that so that was cool now i have so much room in my living room it's amazing um also oh my goodness i just realized i did not work yesterday yesterday was my day off yesterday was not work day yesterday was a rest day so i will just gonna say rest day and i did still drink coffee so that applies <laughs> Oh my goodness, obviously I haven't had uh, enough coffee today yet. If I forgot that yesterday was my day off. Anyway, uh, but I did do these two, so that stayed the same. Obviously I had my dinner with fam and a clear, clear the Christmas tree and I also vacuumed the house. And I generally just uh, did lots of chilling and resting as I do after a long tiring week. 
all right so i think that's it so every day when i decorate i kind of try to have you know a main deco sticker here besides the header ones and then if i feel like it's still a little bit sparse then i will add another sticker or another stamp so here i had birthday stamps so to me it felt like okay i think that's good but here um i don't have anything besides the weather and the bear so i think i'm gonna add a little bit more and let's see what we can add i think i'm gonna add something related to christmas tree and i know i have some christmas tree deco here that i got from create with pen let's see if we can find it perfect so as you as you can see these are all used up because i use them for um the beginning of the year when i had a lot of uh, christmas tree related uh, things here here and also in my Hobonichi Techo So I'm gonna use one of these because it's least decorated because you know I took decorations down and I will also put it on its side because you know the tree is now down and um, I think it's gonna be kind of like funny <laughs> there you go the tree is done um also i just noticed as as i was writing decorating i smudged the stamp so these stamps are uh, pilot friction stamps they are pretty juicy and in fact whenever i use them and also these birthday cakes i end up putting a piece of paper i just use like one square of you know actually a tissue paper and i put it here and i close it and it soaks up the ink but because i was talking to you and i smudged it accidentally so because these are friction um stamps they are actually erasable so let me erase it and restamp it so eraser is right around here you cannot see it but it's kind of like built in into the stamp itself so that's why i'm not worried too much about smudging these because they are erasable and then i can just uh, clean it up and stamp it over and then i will put a tissue paper between the sheets here so then it keeps it from basically uh, ghosting over to the other side let's put this guy again there we go all right so this day is done i think it's cute as is um if again as you can see like i try to have you know two to three stickers on every day um also if i ever feel like oh you know what i still want to add something you know just maybe i'm just feeling you know i want to ec decorate extra i also have um really thin washi tapes like this one as you can see it's about uh, i want to say two millimeters so uh, i can put like a divider here or here maybe or just in the middle of the page uh, these are really cute and um you know they're real washi tapes it's just they cut very thinly i think this one used to have like snowflakes but um i like it because it's basically in this blue kind of a color and um even though these have different colors, I kind of try to keep it in these earthies with blues themes. So I, um, you know, for example, if I felt like, oh, I want to decorate this day a little bit more, I could put, uh, you know, a washi tape here or here, as I mentioned, or use, uh, for example, zebra mild liners and, you know, just do some highlighting. So, okay, so I'm done with yesterday. So now let's do one for today. I'm recording this on Saturday. So I'm going to put this little uh, um, tissue paper in between so just this little sun doesn't stamp over to the other page. Alright, so here we have Saturday and Sunday, so that's basically a weekend. In Moleskine, they don't have any time stamp on Sunday. As you can see, there is nothing here, but there are time stamps on Saturday. Uh, just to note, as we are on this spread, uh, as I mentioned, I already pre stacked you know, pre-decorated the days of the week here. So now I'm going to decorate a little bit the dates themselves. And as I mentioned, I use little circular washi tape uh, stickers on here so let's do that and i'll talk a little bit more in detail about the supplies i'm using since we are on this really blank spread so these are the stickers i'm talking about so i got this from jet pants they have them in different shades i believe they definitely have like the rainbow uh, kind of a color line i want to say they also have like more the, more earthy tones this one is like the blue green and i love these colors because remind me of the ocean and water and they're very peaceful so they're basically cut out washy circles that are overlaid in a continuous um you know sticker line and they are all in different shades of blue and green and they're very transparent so i just put them like you know about you know over the beginning of the date and the day and then i do the same thing on the other side i don't try to match each day to with the same color because then i would, would be wasting them so i just basically stick them as they come 
and makes every day slightly bit different but also matching each other in the same time um, they are translucent as you can see you can still see the day and the date behind them but if you really wanted to you can always take you know a thicker marker and just write over it uh, in month of January I decided to use uh, this thing and just basically do every day like this I don't know if I'll do it every day or not obviously at one point these will run out um, i might end up getting the same roll but with different colors maybe for month of february or march or something like that i don't know we'll see as i mentioned uh, these stickers come from create with pen so what i did is she had a sale on her kind of uh, assortment uh, surprise packs so that's what i got here I um, really enjoy them. There are a lot of stickers here of all kinds of sizes here super cute different themes So the sticker pack included uh, this sticky note pack adorable with a little girl sitting in a coffee cup um, There are also these as you can see I've already been using them So these have a bunch of little laptops with coffee cups. I use these for when I'm at work um, these are really cute ones where she's taking photos so I use these when we were out and about and traveling and also I use these in my other planners like my Hobonichi Techo as well um, these I haven't used that they just uh, have a holiday one so I'm probably gonna use them in the end of this year when Christmas comes around I haven't used these these are uh, kind of larger so this pack has stickers for all kinds of planners right for uh, I'm sure for your weeks for cousin you know different sizing so I'm kind of waiting for use these for different um, purposes so this one since it's a bigger sticker I'm probably gonna use it in my Hobonichi Techo since it's bigger in size than pocket um, these really cute ones so there is a real cute assortment of these rainbow you know gold gilded ones as you can see, I used some of the stickers here and there. This is the set that I used here. So I used one week here. I haven't used this one yet. I used a few from here. They had a coffee cup and uh, like a breakfast items on there. Uh, this one is just the friends hanging out. At least how I interpret them for myself. Uh, this is family. So I used a couple of these on some family events we had. Um, this really cute succulents here that I haven't used yet. Um, shopping so I use that one on one of the days um, so as you can see um, so this one I believe is a weeks um, Hobonichi weeks kit I think um, so uh, as I mentioned different sizes this one it has a shopping so I use this one a lot on the days when I need to do shopping there are real cute um, sticker she's on a smaller side like this uh, you know, like I said, bigger sheets, smaller sheets. This one, as you can see, internet for weeks. So you have little windows for every day and um, little ones for the headers and stuff. So I use some bobas out of here. Um, as you can see, I use that one a lot because it has a coffee uh, mention stuff in it. I use this one for my birthday. I used a lot of this, obviously, almost all of it for Christmas because I got it in the end of the year and I haven't used uh, this uh, exploration of space yet. So the reason I got this is because I knew that most of my planners are on a smaller side. Everything I have are either passport pocket or A6. And I knew that to decorate them, you know, to be able to write more and decorate still, but not, you know, for my stickers, not to overshadow my planning and my journaling, I wanted to have something small. So I, uh, because of that, I decided to get her kit because I knew that most of the stickers she has are on a smaller side, or at least the kit that I got. And it works out perfectly because as you can see, I can put decorations here, but they don't overpower the page because they are so small, right? They're like half an inch couple centimeters tall and they are perfect along with them um, not from her but I got also some stickers from coffee monsters co like I got these little cute ones you know working on a laptop I got this little kit uh, this was a Halloween kit um, I got this um, also Halloween but it you know has like these coffee colors I believe it's a weekly kit as well uh, Honichi weeks kit from coffee monsters co I also got these cute stickers of uh, drinking coffee and working on a laptop. As you can see, I use them a lot from the Ivory Paper Co. These are adorable and I got them. So she has them in different uh, skin tones and uh, hair colors. So I got this one because uh, that one has hair almost like mine and uh, basically um, feel I feel like uh, she looks like me, especially when she wears her glasses, which I do. And as you can see, I've used her hair 
in here. Uh, I try not to use it her every day so it's not like repetitive. I try to like do a laptop on one side and her on another side. But as you can see, I have, you know, assortment of stickers here from different shops. And I also got uh, smaller stickers. I went on Amazon and looked for uh, basically tiny, tiny transparent stickers and I found this kit. Uh, these are, I believe, Korean stickers. I, there are actually three different packs in here. I put them all into the same bag, you know, to be able to uh, hold it in one place because I don't have like a sticker album yet, believe it or not. Um, I was never like huge on stickers, so I ended up getting these to be able to decorate these uh, planners for 2023. And these sets are adorable. There are three sets here. I kind of uh, opened some of them and this one is still closed. And as you can see, they're basically like um, kawaii style. Um, little cuties uh, with different themes. I used up some of these, obviously. Um, you know, like this one is adventures, traveling and doing different things. I believe this one is more like a Valentine's because there are a lot of like pinks and hearts and stuff here. Uh, this one is just, you know, kind of like doing different things. This one is chilling and eating different things. And this one is a little bit more holiday themed. And they are all very small, as you can see, like they're basically like my thumbnail size. And when you apply them, they are translucent. So this white color is actually the backing, but they're see-through. They're, they're clear when you apply them. Um, as you can see, like this one here with a little wine glass here. Um, it's translucent when you apply. They're very cute, just the perfect size, and there are a ton of them. Um, like I show you this kit, then there is this one here. Again, um, same kind of uh, uh, animals, right? They're traveling, and here's like a self-care day kind of deal. Um, they're just, uh, you know, doing different things. This is just like different moods, you know, sad, happy, sleepy. Um, very, very cute. And this whole sticker set, um, I don't even know how many sheets it has. Let me see, I believe there are uh, six sheets on each. There's 18 sheets all together, I believe with all of these little things that will probably last me, I don't know, six months. All of this, I think I end up getting for like 12, 13 bucks or something like that. I'll put a link to it below. I put links to everything down below. So if you wanna uh, check them out for yourself, but I thought it was really, really cute. So this is another thing I decided to get to be able to decorate planners that are on a smaller side. So if you're um, thinking of using pocket size and you know, wanna decorate it, but you're wondering like how do I do it without basically the whole page being covered <laughs> in stickers uh, you can consider doing something like that doing stickers that are um, on the smaller side you know basically um, I was thinking that if for example I couldn't find something for that size I could get stickers that are intended for Hobonichi weeks because weeks are on the smaller side sorry for all the noise and they should be able to fit, right? Because um, most skin pages are pretty blank, so you can, you know, use a lot of things here without it looking out of place. Um, another thing I decided to get for decoration are washi tapes. Again, because pages are so little, um, using washi tape like this, I mean, you know, it, it's not too bad, but it takes up a lot of space, right? Even something like of this size. So I went out and I looked for uh, mini or skinny washi tapes and I got them. So um, like I showed you a little bit earlier, um, here are some of them. And these are on the blue side because, you know, January was still close to Christmas. Plus, you know, obviously January is winter. So, you know, with cold weather, it's kind of like a winter inspired colors because as I mentioned, these have little snowflakes on them. This has a little bit of this gold, you know, like basically kind of winter cold weather themed, snow themed washes. But they, I got them as a kit and let me see. I think I have a couple ones here. This kit actually had like, uh, I don't know, a gazillion of them. I know it's not a number. But this is a kit and I got it from Amazon again. Uh, I was about maybe, you know, 10, 12 bucks. And there are like a ton of them in there. And they are all different colors. So they will last you the whole year. There are just uh, many more of them. So uh, I'm sure these were like the wider washi tapes cut down into tiny strips. But it's fine by me because as I mentioned, all my planners are very small and I wanted to have washi that doesn't, you know, 
basically monopolize the whole page. As you can see, all kinds of colors, reds, orange, browns, blues, um, as, I, as I said, there is, uh, you know, many more, many more in there. Um, will probably last me for next 10 years. And um, so what I do is because obviously there are a lot of them and I don't use all of them. I decided that each month I'm gonna pull out, uh, you know, three, four colors for that month's color theme and I'm gonna be using them. So for this month, because as you can see, I'm trying to stay in like this earthy plus blue colors. I picked out these three blue ones and this one uh, like on a beige brownish, like a coffee themed with uh, this little bit of a sparkle. I did keep a couple of uh, regular tapes in here. So this one, even though it's not mini, it is pretty thin. So you can see it probably like about one, uh, one and a half lines, so it's not bad. So on the days when I don't have much going on, I might put a washi tape across, you know, this, for example, line underneath the, the schedule. So this is what I use as far as the washi tapes. Um, also, as you can see, you know, I usually have all my supplies in my Defonics pouch, which is right here. But because I go into office more often now, I want to take my planners and my supplies on the go. So what I decided to do is I decided to grab just a few of them and I put them in a pouch, you know, small pouch that I can drag along with me. And um, this is how I do it. So I have this cute pouch for from uh, Pigma Micron. Um, it is, I love it because it uh, looks like a cork. And I just basically grab a few supplies. I um, bring the zebra mud liners here, the brush pen here, a um, couple inner gel pens here of different colors. I have pencil here in case if I need to jot something down with some spare erasers. Uh, the washi tapes that I mentioned, as you can see, I have. I can have these many, you know, and they all fit here and take up no space, right? Because they're so skinny. Uh, even still, I'm able to fit the wider ones here. Um, I use this beautiful uh, BGM tape for my uh, Hobonichi Techo. So I use this with both of my Techos and uh, with my uh, Moleskine. And I have uh, these stamps here. So let's talk about stamps. So as I mentioned, these are Pilot Friction stamps. So they are just like the Pilot Friction pens. They are erasable. So there are a million of them. Okay, maybe not million, but there are a whole bunch of them, at least a couple dozen of them. I got these from Jet Pens. The ones I have here are the sun, the cloud, the little panda, and the birthday cake. Uh, the reason I got the sun and the cloud is to do the weather. They also have one with, I believe, the rain. Um, I actually didn't end up getting rain because I was like, we don't ever get rain in California. And then, of course, now we had like three weeks of rain or like actually more like on off six weeks of rain. So I'm actually considering getting one with the rain now that we're getting into this kind of weathers more regularly. Um, the panda one, I just got it because it was so cute for no reason at all. And they come in this little cute case. So I also got it from Jet Pen. So you can get all of these and more. There are other colors. There is shopping, there is hospital, there is, uh, I believe, paying bills. I mean, there are many, many of them. And this little case, it fits five of them. So I still need one more for them, you know, not to go. <laughs> you know, rattle around there. And I'm still, uh, I still haven't decided I might get a rain one, as I mentioned, but I was thinking to also maybe get a shopping cart one. And um, as I mentioned, these are erasable. So each of them, it's basically designed like a little marker. You have uh, the face of the stamp on the side so you can align it and you know which way to stamp it. So you just get it like this way. And this is a little lid, you open, here's the stamp, you just pushing it and they're very juicy as I mentioned you don't have to push really hard you can just do very light um, press and it um, stamps really cleanly and around here I don't know if you can tell but this little rim here uh, this little rim here is actually an eraser so um, as you saw I erased it when it got smudged because these are our friction technology they are erasable just the way the friction pens are erasable and I realized that I'm probably going to be more of a person who has either pre-inked uh, stamps or stamps on a little stick that I can just dab in the ink real quick and just call it a day um, And actually I saw jet pens has a new set of uh, stamps that I might get I don't know yet, but they are super cute with little characters um, and the reason I actually consider stamps to begin with is because um, Last year for the first time I started using Hobonichi Techo, which is made out of some way river paper 
and uh, it's very thin, right? But when you start decorating it and putting stickers and washi tapes and things like that, it gets bulked up, you know, actually pretty significantly. Um, and some of us will laugh when they get really, really chunky, but I was kind of trying to keep it under control so it's not too bulky because then when you write on the page, it's kind of hard to write when there are too many decorations on the other side. And because of that, I start seeking out ways of decorating my pages without them bulking up too much. And that is the reason why I got stamps. That's the reasons why I got um, these kind of a thin stamps, these kind of a washi type uh, stamps because they're thinner than your regular, I'm sorry, washi type stickers, which are thinner than your regular stickers. Um, you know, I start using more of highlighters, writing stuff out, doodling. So then even though I get decoration is not like too chunky, not, you know, doesn't distort uh, smoothness of page too much. Um, so basically these are the things I've kind of used like I mentioned I use uh, a whole bunch of different stickers um, These I just basically carry along with me the <laughs> obviously one fit in here um, Also for the washi tapes I considered doing maybe washi tape cards, but like for example this one I'm peeling it off. I it's not really feasible to me and it fits into this little zipper case fine So I decided not to go with washi tape cards, but I might in the future if I just end up using regular washi and not the circles. Um, as I mentioned, I just have these stickers that I bring along with me. I am uh, on the lookout for a nice smaller size sticker album that can fit these. Um, I haven't found a nice one yet. So if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments down below of, I know this kind of a size of, um, you know, sticker holder uh, it would be awesome if it was of uh, pocket size. So then I can actually put on the, some of the strings here and, you know, put it here and carry it along with me rather than grabbing these as packets and I can like cut them down to fit them into the smaller pack package. Um, let me know. I have looked around, can't find anything, you know, really nice. So now we can actually finish planning with me for this Saturday. So today obviously is a weekend. Today is a really nice sunny day again. I already have gone outside and just sand on the sun and soaked it all in. It was wonderful. So I'm going to put sun in here for our weather and a degree wise I believe it's like 67 degrees it's a really nice beautiful day and then today I have several things so today I'm recording the video so I um, definitely took some time and rested so here I am just gonna say sleep and rest then um, breakfast and then what I'm doing right now record a video all right and then I after that I'm gonna go for a walk and then after that um i don't know actually uh what i'm gonna do i believe oh yes i have to pay some bills and do some budget so i'm gonna do bills and do budget and taxes for my little business and then that brings us uh, all the way to like 4 p.m and then after that i'm gonna do some uh, cooking Later on, I'm going to have dinner with fam. And I will also, I'm trying to catch up on my um, classes and courses that I own. So um, after we eat and chill and all that, I'm going to do uh, one class. And that's on blogging. And um, I want to open a little bit, you know, I want to leave a little bit open because obviously you're not going to be, you know, watching TV or whatever. And uh, now, as you can see, so I wrote out, obviously, as weekends tend to be a very busy, a lot of different tasks versus, you know, work day when all you do is just basically work the whole day and then you have a little bit of time to do your chores or whatever. So now I want to decorate this a little bit. So what I will do, I will use some of the coffee stickers because I did have my coffee in the morning let's see which one 
All right, so because I don't have a lot of room here, I'm gonna use this uh, mug because it's not too big. And I'm gonna put one here next to the breakfast. There we go, Looking cute. And then let's see what else. So what do we have? We have dinner, we have class. So the class, you know what, actually, I'm gonna put this cute one for Cafe Monsters Code, the one with all the washies and planners. Uh, I'm sure this is more like planning. You know what, actually, I can do this one because, you know, it's like reading a book and uh, drinking coffee. Or should I put this one because this one looks more like studies. This is more like reading. All right, this one wins. <laughs> choices, the choices are so difficult. Too much cuteness, too much cuteness. So I'm gonna put this one here. Careful not to smudge my sun. There we go, that's cute. And also if I wanted to decorate it a different way, as I mentioned, I also use uh, zebra mild liners. I love this particular kit as you can see it fits right in right with the <laughs> color scheme you know this is I know it's more like a gray but on a kind of blue side right your browns you know your, your beiges like a, the, the coffee olives all of that I mean it fits like perfectly with this whole thing um, so if I wanted to uh, add a little bit more flair for example you know here I could highlight or if I have something uh, important that I didn't want to forget so for example um, you know put pay bills and budget, I could use one of these highlighters and highlight it to kind of let it stand out. Um, you know, so whatever whatever you like. Um, I think that using these, you know, small scale uh, decorations helps, you know, keep it fun, keep it decorative, uh, not, you know, I mean, some people like really, really functional when you have zero decoration. I feel like I'm kind of in the middle. I don't like to overload my sheets uh, or my pages with too much decor because then it's uh, overwhelming to me visually. Um, I like my planner to, you know, be like a source of calm in my life. So um, as you can see so far, uh, this been 21 days in this little planner. Um, you know, just uh, I use the same brown every day so then it's cohesive plus I like this color it's dark enough you know to be able to see and read really well but not as severe as a black uh, even though I, I love black my whole life you know my black, black pants but um, because I want this one to be kind of like cozy and cute I feel like brown color is um, serves it a little bit better and um, as far as the front pages, I don't use them much, but I use the calendar ones for birthdays. I mean, look, January, it's like crazy how many birthdays we had. February is a little bit less. March, you know, somewhat there. Use those same um, birthday cake stamps to delineate it. All right, so I think we are done. Looking really cute. I really like how it came out. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna do similar thing because it's also gonna be day off, depending on what we have going on. I'm gonna, you know, do some uh, tasks, tasks for my home, for my business, for my fam, and uh, put a couple more stickers on here. Maybe I'll put the rest of this tape over here to match it, so it has kind of a line going across. We'll see. And otherwise, we are done with this plan with me. Thank you for being here with me and sharing this cuteness and all these fun supplies that I'm using. And again, as I mentioned, uh, you know, your pocket planner, only because it's smaller doesn't mean that you cannot treat it like your regular size planner. You can still, you know, plan in it daily. You can decorate it to your heart's content and just consider what supplies work with this size. Tiny stickers, you know, narrow washi tapes, tiny stamps. Uh, you know, really fine nib or a fine size pens work really well. Light color highlighters that do not overwhelm the page work really, really nicely. And all of these um, things, you know, the stickers from different makers uh, bring so much joy and make your planner look really cute, make it also functional, nice to look at, and, uh, you know, great way to spend your morning or evening when you're planning out your day. Um, again, as I mentioned, I'm going to put links to all of the things mentioned 
mentioned here in description down below so you can check them out for yourself and if you like this kind of videos please like and subscribe please leave me your thoughts in the comments below of which one of these decorations were your favorite uh, which pen uh, do you use with your moleskin which stickers and washi tapes and other decor you use with your smaller planners if you use those i'm looking forward to hearing from you and otherwise i will see you in the next video you take care bye